Hi, this is David with entry number 214. 214. I'm looking at you, um, like I said in the morning before I head to school, in about 20 25 minutes. I'll be heading to Seoul for sure later today, um, whenever I get home. I decided that because the school offers to pay for bus tickets, I'm going to take a taxi to the bus terminal. Normally I take a bus to the I take a city inner city bus to the bus terminal and that can take up to 45 minutes because I usually I can't read the or I don't know how to read the schedule properly so I usually just show up and wait and that usually means I'm waiting for a very long time. The bus is also about half of what the taxi costs which means it's only like three dollars for me to take the taxi to the um, bus terminal, so it's very cheap. It takes about two minutes compared to about ten minutes on the bus. Um, so, I know that was kind of boring, but just some trivia. Um, Korean taxis is very inexpensive. Uh, what I'll be doing in Seoul is essentially Friday. I won't probably get in until about nine or ten in the evening or at night, so I'll probably just head in to uh, Hongdae, get a quick bite to eat, roll out to the hostel and just chill probably go to bed early. Um, then on Saturday, um, relatively early, I'm planning on meeting up with my friend Pat, who is who I consider to be one of my better friends here in in uh, Korea, just because um, when things were hard for me earlier, he made a point to actually come out and visit me. Pat lives in a, um, I think a little city called Jincheon, uh, towards the south east of uh, Korea. Maybe. But he's decent. He's a very far distance. He's like, he's closer to Daegu and, uh, no, he's in the middle south, though. Uh, so he's closer to, uh, oh, I forgot the city. One of the bigger cities um, down south. And, um, yeah, it takes him like seven, six or seven hours to get to get to uh, Gangnam. So I really appreciated his uh, visiting me, and we've always had good talks. And this will be the first time I've seen him in Seoul, so um, it should be fun going to uh, Jongnogu, which is my favorite area of Korea or of Seoul. Um, it's very old, and I've talked about it before. It's where the big palace is, and. Um, uh, in Sedong, which is like a traditional street, and the Bukchon Hanok, which is like a traditional village on a hill. It's very cool, very peaceful, very artsy. It's kind of, um, well, Hongdae started out as a very, um, very artsy little community for the university because there's a big art school there. And unfortunately, um, Korean commercialism basically bought Hongdae. And so essentially it's kind of a parody of itself now mostly. There's probably about 15 to 20 percent of it that's actually still pretty artsy, and that's the part I like. But for the most part, Hongdae is just the place to get drunk and eat barbecue. Um, you know, it's, it's, that's not a bad thing, I'm just saying it's not what it started out as, um, which was kind of a fostering kind of artsy community. Um, it's a lot like, if you've never been to Hongdae, it's a lot like um, in, in the city of Berkeley, California, there's a there's a little street, or quite a big street, called Telegraph, I think, Avenue. And it's very similar to that feel. Um, Hongdae, since it's become more touristy, it's, you know, about five times as dense, dense uh, with bodies as Telegraph usually is. But it's a very, um, it's nice for what it is. I think it's pretty good. Um, other than that, I um, hope to get to Myeongdong. I was looking for like a, I haven't really bought a lot of clothes here, I bought that um, kind of big heavier top coat, which I really like, and I bought the vest, and that's about it really. So I was thinking about um, going to Myeongdong and picking out a jacket or something, a summer white jacket, just because I really don't like, even though it's hotter, I don't like wearing like one layer. I prefer wearing like two to three light layers even in the summer and then that kind of gives you um, 
a lot of options and I just like think it's a better presentation for, for yourself to have a light coat or some kind of thing to cover your your bottom layer. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of stupid, but um if I could find like something linen or very light cotton, I think that would be that would be good. What would be cool would be to find something like in a tropical wool, but I highly doubt um, the stores that I can afford sell tropical wool jackets. Um, anyway, yeah, I know that wasn't, this isn't very exciting, but I don't really have a lot to talk about because my day hasn't really started yet. Um, but, you know, things are fine, still fine. I'm really looking forward to the lesson plans I have set out today. We're still going to do directions, which we did yesterday. And I printed out a maze, and the activity will be, I have four mazes, and I'll give them out to the students. And, the maze, and I'll give them two minutes to try and solve the maze and then I'll have them switch switch, switch, switch every two minutes until the majority, maybe like 80% of the class is finished and then I will um, have one person from each because my classroom is divided in kind of three sections where they sit one person from each section maybe go in order, yeah that would be better because they'll get more to speak more of them speaking, have them go and give the directions on how to solve the maze. So hopefully that goes down the retreat. I'll also have um, some other stuff, but that's kind of the main bulk of the two hour block with the five, six kids. But other than that, I think things will be um, a-okay. And uh, so I'll end it there. Um, the next entry will be uh, tomorrow and I'll have my have to do it on my phone. And uh, hopefully we won't go out. I'll have a nice day to talk about because should be pretty fun tomorrow. I really like that area. Well, uh, Jongmugu. So, um, yeah, I hope to show, um, hope to have a good time. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will talk with you tomorrow. Bye.